The evolutionary journey that gave us today's spiders is shrouded in the mystery of the fossil record. But one of the oldest known modern looking spiders holds one of the keys to understanding the many evolutionary steps to the pest munchers of today. And it was nothing short of humongous. The orb weavers are some of the coolest and biggest spiders around. They're often brightly colored, with finger-like spindly legs, and they splooge out golden silk. They make huge 1.5 meter diameter webs and can prey on things as large as small birds, bats, lizards, and snakes. Tracking the evolutionary history of the golden orb weaver, or even spiders in general, is incredibly tricky. The exoskeleton of most arachnids and insects don't fossilize well, so they tend to only show up in special places called Lagerstaten. The oldest known modern spider came from the Florissant Fossil Beds National Monument in Florissant, Colorado, which is one of those Lagerstaten. That itsy bitsy spider is from the Eocene. An even older modern looking spider was found in deposits from Mongolia and China in the early 2010s. This older spider fossil comes from Jurassic period deposits in Inner Mongolia. The rocks which held the spood specimen are called the Julongshan or Haifanggu formation, which are made up of extremely thin layers of ash, explaining how nice and pretty the fossil is. In 2011, a fossil of this old spood was described and given the name Nephila Jurassica. The breathtaking fossil was of a large female. The fossil is a compression fossil, meaning that after she died and was covered by ash or ash and water, her remains were squished flat by more ash and sediment piling on top until her body was a near two-dimensional silhouette. Nephila is the genus name of the golden orb weavers. The fine folks who described the fossil thought these fossil spiders were anatomically modern enough and similar enough to actually represent ancient golden orb weavers. This would mean the fossil is both the oldest known true spider fossil and the oldest known orb weaver fossil. Alas, it was not to be. Another specimen found in the exact same area was described in 2013 as a male counterpart to the first female. You can readily tell a male and female spider apart by the presence of pedipalps, these little boxing glove things attached only to the males used for courtship. The new teeny male specimen, our short king, was preserved with more information in his body that told researchers both the male and female specimens are not close enough to modern golden orb weavers to be themselves ancient orb weavers. A new name was in order. Meet Mongol Arachne Jurassica, Mongolian spider of the Jurassic. These spiders were rather large, within the same size range as living orb weavers. The female had a body length of about 0.97 inches or 24.6 millimeters, and the front legs reached about 2.22 inches or 56.5 millimeters. That's a good 3 inches right there. The back legs are missing in the female's fossil, but I could see them extending the spider's whole length to about 4 inches or 10 centimeters. That's a big spider. Not as big as the largest orb weavers, which can stretch up to or slightly past 7 inches or 17 centimeters, but big enough for me and anyone with arachnophobia. This is also big enough to make some truly massive webs to entangle and envenomate some pretty big Jurassic nom noms. The deposits where these fossil spoods were found aren't particularly chock full of Mesozoic beasts. The most notable backbone critters are the ancient beaver-like mammal Castrocotta, the amphibian Chunerpatan, and the possibly gliding theropod Epidexipteryx. The time and place are close enough to other known fossil-carrying rock layers that it's a good bet these big spiders lived with sparrow-sized pterosaurs and birds that could have easily been entangled in their silk. The frog-mouthed flying reptile Jehalopterus could have easily fallen prey to the largest female megalarachne. The early bird Confuciusornis would have made a great snack as well. If Mongolarachne wasn't careful, it would have made an equally yummy snack to an assortment of predators. Any number of arboreal dromaeosaurian dinosaurs, like Microraptor and Cynornithosaurus, would have readily snapped up such a juicy invertebrate. 
a passing mother codiptrix with her blunt beak and long tail feathers would have made quick work of Mongol Arachne. Hopefully more fossils of these guys will be found in time. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my elephant tier patrons, Thea Svensson, Staniforth Hopkins, Dinosaur, and Arda Bayer, as well as my Tyrannosaurus tier patrons, Henry Brennan, Danny Van Heck, Dana Manchester, Chris Frampton, and Admin.